like getting a lot of people in our industry to give them their picks. And I think it's good to have that tracking service. I tried it. It didn't work for me for what I do. It didn't work for right. somebody else. Maybe it does, but it didn't work for me. We know so. a lot of people in the space um, that sell picks and mm -hmm. they're doing it. If you find me doing it ever, I'm one step away from skid row. Mm -hmm. I'm just putting it out there right now. I'm going to mm -hmm. need to do it, you know, for money. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really want to ever have to do it because I've seen the dark side of the business and I, I just don't, I don't have any interest in it. Mm -mm. Um, God bless people that do it one and they get customers too. So mm -hmm. that's fine. Um, I just, <laughs> we let them get involved in legalizing sports betting and they're fucking it up, but that they're was pretty good. But they, I mean, they, that's just the way that humans I, and government work. I mean, they, I know, but if you're going to put them in this, uh -huh. you're not going to make it better. I mean, the goal, if they're trying to really make it, is to make it better. They're not, that, yeah. that's not going to make I mean, it look, better. All they of that is not cannabis be and they didn't figure out how people were going to pay for it. They realized that the, the, the companies that ran their credit cards weren't going to allow any transactions to be done. So it had to be done via cash. That created a huge cash influx in Colorado, and the, to the point where they have to have paramilitary security taking their money to the bank <laughs> because people knock off the. Tr There's so much cash being brought in, people go and rob the people who are trying to put the bank put the money in the bank. Like they didn't think that through of like, oh shoot, so we're gonna legalize cannabis. How are they gonna pay for it? <laughs> oh, it's cash. Okay, so when all this cash is lying around, what do we do with it? Like we're not secure. We're not a bank. How are we going to have like a hundred thousand on cash every day at their dispensary? How can we handle that? Oh, hire an ex-military people to come in and take it to the bank for us. Right. Like they created a whole couch industry of, of violence potentially by doing that. So yes, all the time that as a par for the course that we see unforeseen consequences popping up all the time, whenever we go through a legalization process like this.